secret that I grew up in my dad's juke joint down in Birmingham, Alabama. But that did not stop our mama from making us eat our nice, hearty vegetables growing up. Today we're gonna be making a highly requested video, smothered cabbage, y'all. And I'm gonna be making it with what I consider the South's finest delicacy, fat back. <laughs> Honey, we finna smother this cabbage so good it's gonna look like baby Jesus in the manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes, you hear me? It's gonna be delicious, and we're gonna take that natural juice that cabbage tends to give off, you know, it has a lot of water. Well, I'm gonna teach you today how to turn that water into a little bit of like a cabbage gravy, right? I'm gonna be using the same ingredients that my mom always used growing up. Now, if you don't like fat back, if you don't like bacon, if you don't like ham hocks, if you don't like none of that stuff, then you can just leave all of that out. But you're going to be leaving out a whole lot of flavor that could be sucked up in there. Just going to let you know. But you can leave all that out and just make the cabbage just the way we're going to make it today. All right, so let's get to the tutorial, y'all. <laughs> wash your body sometimes want to walk around and be a little dirty don't mean that you got to do that to your food okay you don't want to get nobody sick so make sure when you cut this cabbage up and stuff you give it a nice wash all right you want to get all that grit and stuff out of there because if you don't what's gonna happen is you're gonna taste it and it's gonna be nasty as hell ain't nobody gonna want to come back to your house and eat cabbage to that. Oh, it smells so good in here, y'all. I'm going to add a little bit at a time, and I am on high heat right now, guys. High heat, y'all. I'm about to show you how we're gonna turn this into a little gravy. So I've got some cornstarch here. We're gonna sprinkle that on top. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. Added the cornstarch, it soaked up the little water that it had. So what we want to do now is to add a little bit more flavor to get sucked up in there. Woo! We want to deglaze with just a little bit of chicken stock. Just like that. Give it a stir. I'm gonna season with a little bit of Cajun seasoning, y'all. Maybe about a teaspoon of sugar, just like that. Then we wanna also hit it with just a little bit of vinegar, just to cut, cut out some of that fattiness we got going on up in there from that fat back and that salt pork. And give that a stir, just like that. I'm on low heat right now, y'all. Low heat, well, medium low heat. I'm on medium low heat right now. Now I'm gonna put my lid on, y'all, and I'm gonna let this cook for about two to three minutes, okay, just so we can make what we call that cabbage gravy that I was talking about. About two to three minutes and it should be done. You know, growing up in the juke joint, it was always great times in there. Nobody came in there to fight. Nobody came there to argue or do nothing that. Unless it was somebody in there that cheating on their wife. Do you got to worry about that. But for the most part, everybody just came here to have a good time, have some good food, get some good laughs, and go home, y'all. It is the moment of the hour, y'all. You know, I always know what I say. You gotta always taste it before you serve it. So you know I got my hot sauce, because I'm real blessed. That's how we like to do down here. Okay? So 
little hot sauce on them. Mix that up in there. Just like that, because I need to get a little spice back there. In the back of my neck, like that right there. Okay, what I like. Okay.